Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the look that I wore for my brother's Sangeet event. It's a very very beautiful pastel lavender uh, kind of a eye makeup with a kind of a full coverage base but looks natural at the same time and a glossy lip. And yeah, if you want to know how I achieved this beautiful bridesmaid wedding guest kind of a makeup look, then please do continue watching. You guys know how I roll so I cleanse my face using the Dermavive Hydra Cleanser which is really really good even if you have sensitive skin types and it just clears out all the dirt and impurity beautifully from the skin without ripping away the moisture. Then I prepped my skin a little bit so I took this uh, Pixi Plump Collagen Boost Sheet Mask. It's a very very beautiful plumping mask so I just put it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let it soak. I did a little bit of massaging while the sheet mask was on just to make sure that the product sunk into the skin properly and after a while uh, I removed the sheet mask and just whatever was left on the face I just massaged it in. Then to moisturize and prep further I took the Nutridum Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which is a beautiful non-sticky uh, hydrating moisturizer so I just applied and massaged the product all over the face and neck and this is just going to prep my uh, skin before I apply some makeup. I also prepped my lips using the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. This is very very tingly and makes my lips go double in size which I absolutely love. Before beginning with the makeup, I also prepped my under eyes. So I took the Pixi Detoxify under eye patches and put them underneath my eyes. This is a cooling product. I absolutely enjoy it uh, whenever I want a bit of pampering and relaxation. So yeah, that's what I did. Now I'm going to try to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. So I took the pack eyebrow definer kit and just filled in any gaps that I could see on my eyebrows. To prep my eyelids, I took my Sephora High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Honey and just applied that all over the eyelids and also to clean up under the bottom area of my eyebrow to make it look more sharper and defined. Uh, to blend it out, I took my Pack Concealer Blending Brush in the number 219 and just gently tapped it to blend it out. For eyeshadow, I took this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty which is the Mercury Retrograde eyeshadow palette which has a lot of pastel tones in it. So I took the shade called Libra which is a beautiful pastel uh, purple color and just applied that all over the crease as a transition. Then I took the shade Hot Mess and just slightly intensified the crease area to add a bit more depth. To add a base on the eyelids, I took the Sugar Cosmetics eyeshadow duo. This is again in a lilac shade and just use the matte uh, purple liquid eyeshadow on top of the eyelids and blended it out using a flat brush. I took the shade Hot Mess again and just applied that on the outer V of my eye to smoke it out a bit and whatever was left on the brush I just run it on the crease again. Here, I'm using a tapered blending brush to do that. Then I took a deeper shade of plum. This is called Vortex, which is a very, very deep shade. And just applied that at the very, very outer corners of my eyes to add a bit more smokiness and thoroughly blended it out. For the shimmer eyeshadow, I took the shade Cosmic which is a beautiful pastel uh, shimmery foiled purple shade and just applied that all over the empty space on the eyelids. Mm -hmm. 
where the shimmer purple and the matte purple met i took the shade ultra violet which is a beautiful purple with a lot of blue undertones to it so i'm just applying that to merge both the shades together and to create a nice smooth transition again i took the shade vortex on an angled brush and gently defined my upper lash line i did not want any harsh uh, liquid eyeliner for this look so i created a nice smoky um, eyeliner kind of effect Once the eye makeup was done, I took off the under eye patches. To prime my skin, I'm using my most favorite primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Original Smooth and Blur Primer. It is such a beautiful primer, especially if you have a lot of open pores and oily skin. This is the one you should invest in. It's a really, really good one. Not only it fills in your pores, but helps your makeup to stay put throughout the event or the day. To color correct, I'm taking my Pack Take Cover Rusty Orange Color Corrector and just applying a tad bit of that to my uh, dark circles around the mouth area on top of the hyperpigmentation and also on top of my acne spots and blending it out using a damp beauty blender from e.l.f. Once that was done, I'm just going to take this Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Finish um, Liquid Concealer. This is... A very recent purchase so i took that in the shade medium dark peach which is a beautiful darker shade of um, concealer shade and it has a lot of orangey undertones to it so i took that to conceal all of these hyper pigmentation on the face and blending it out using my concealer blending brush again it's a very very thin yet high coverage concealer i really enjoyed using this concealer for foundation, I'm taking my current favorite long-lasting foundation for my skin type, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Bronze. So I just took a little bit of the foundation, dotted it on the main areas of my face and blending it out using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, I think it's called. And yeah, gently dabbing the foundation and uh, whatever is left on the brush, I'm just taking that on my neck as well. Though the foundation and concealer looks lighter here, I promise you it's not this light um, it was exactly matched to my skin tone so yeah because of the lighting it's looking a little bit lighter then I took the Sephora uh, honey concealer again and just putting that on the under eyes to highlight and also on the center of my face to highlight my features and blending it out again using the same pack brush to set and bake my uh, base makeup, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Kunafa and just using a nice pizza shaped sponge from Pack. Taking a generous amount of the powder on the sponge, I'm just locking and setting my under eye region as well as around the mouth area where I tend to crease a lot. Then to finish up the eye makeup, I'm taking the uh, shade Hot Mess and the shade Vortex mixed in together on a pencil brush and just smoking out my lower lash line. To set the rest of the face, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Matte Compact Powder in the shade Medium and applying a very very little amount of the powder all over the face and neck. It's a beautiful smoothly milled powder and it's very mattifying and long lasting on the skin. I really like it on my oily skin. To contour my face, I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Compact Powder in the shade NW48, which is a very, very deeper shade of uh, powder for my complexion. So it acts as a beautiful contouring slash bronzing powder. So I'm just applying that to the hollows of the cheeks, my jawline on the perimeters of my forehead. And I switched over to a smaller uh, brush to contour the sides of my nose and around the mouth area. For blusher, I'm taking one of my favorite blushes from MAC. This is the matte blush in the shade Burnt Pepper, which is a beautiful, deep, smoky peach color for dusky complexion. So I'm just applying that in a sculpting way on my cheeks to lift my face upwards and give it a nice definition.
For highlight, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Fusion Highlighter in the shade 06, which is a beautiful peachy gold, finely milled, very, very high um, intensity highlighter. So I'm just applying a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the, the cupid's bow and the chin. To finish up my eye makeup, I'm taking the Huda Beauty uh, Mascara and just applying that to my lower lash line because I have lash extensions on my top lashes. So yeah. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Swiss Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Dark Chocolate and slightly overdrawing my lips before applying any lipstick. For lipstick, first I took the Maybelline um, Color Sensational Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance and just applied a little bit of that on my lips and I felt like it looked a lot more pink which I did not want so I took the Nykaa Matalicious Lip Crayon in the shade Jade Rose which is a beautiful deep burnt peachy color and this is the exact kind of shade that I wanted so I just applied that all over the lips To finish my entire makeup in place, I'm using my favorite setting spray again, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Original uh, Setting Spray. I also did my brother's makeup for the event once my makeup was done. And here is my finished and final makeup look. I also put on a bit of lip gloss from Too Faced, which is the lip injection lip gloss in the shade Soulmate, which is a nude uh, lip gloss and adds a lot of plumpness to your lips and this is the final finished bridesmaid Sangeet makeup look on myself which I wore for my brother's Sangeet event. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, we'll put the link in the description box. This is it, take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!